Okay, so for news for 30th of June 2015, uh, when Studio Ghibli announced it would be making no more movies and laid off its animation staff, we wondered what else would it get up to? Mm. Well, here's part of the answer. Mm. Studio Ghibli, Ghibli, Ghibli <laughs> <laughs> unveiled a 30-second animation mm. it made for the Tycho Drum Master video game series. Oh, cool. Tycho. Mm. Uh, the animation features a mouse interacting with the game's drums. Cool. In the games, players beat on special drums to simulate traditional taiko drumming. Bandai Namco has sold over 4,000 arcade versions of the game and over 8 million copies of the console version. That's a pretty popular game. That sounds like fun. Cool. If you've been to anime conventions and you've seen people sort of banging on drums as a video game, that's taiko. what you're looking at. Exactly. Taiko drums. Taiko drums. Funimation has also announced that it has licensed 13 new anime titles that it will stream this summer. Ooh, as, titles! Yay! As well as rights to the live-action Attack on Titan film. Live-action? You bet. <laughs> mm -hmm. Big people. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the anime that they will be uh, streaming this summer include Snow White with the Red Hair, uh, Ron Pokitan Game of Laplace, Gangsta, Seiyu's Life, which is a story by a, uh, written by a Seiyu and animated by the artist who did um, Hayate the Combat Butler. Oh, that's a fun yeah, story. Yeah, so, so that kind of artistic style. Uh, Bikini Warriors, which is exactly what it sounds like. D&D <laughs> style adventurers, but all the adventurers are girls wearing bikini armor. Woo uh, um, Prison School, which is again exactly what it sounds like. Um, <laughs> Hitalia of the World <laughs> a Twinkle, which is season six of Hitalia. Wow, oh, I didn't realize they'd gone that no far. Kidding. It keeps on going. Uh, Aquarium Logos, season three of that series, of that franchise. Sky Wizards Academy, also known as, I'm going to try to get this right, Kusen Madoshi Kohose no Kyokan, which is a fantasy series. Wow. Uh, Junjo Romantica, uh, three, the third season. Overlord, kind of an interesting premise here, a, a young man stays logged into an MMO when it's shut down. So it's planned oh. obsolescence of MMO, everything gets shut down, but he decides to remain uh, logged in, and everything starts changing around him. The real world behind <laughs> the MMO. Yeah. Um, so apparently something is happening with the MMO with him still logged in. Um, curious to see how that goes. Uh, also, we Castle... can't shut it down! <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, Castle Town Dandelion, and uh, Shimoneta, a boring world where the concept of dirty jokes doesn't exist. This is a weird, hilarious concept. It sounds strange. Um, it, it, it's all about censorship. The idea is that mm. coarse language gets banned in the future. Oh. And a high school girl, kind of a Haruhi-like high school girl, decides she's going to uh, protest this by using coarse language in public and in school. Oh, the shock. Um, <gasps> there's, there's, uh, if you look at, for images of this, you'll see an image of a girl wearing underwear on her head. Um, and that's kind of the, the shock. I, of wonder, the I think I might have seen yeah. that. Uh, <laughs> wow. So, um, and it, it's getting on the, the whole thing. There was a big student protest movement in the 60s and 70s. It's kind of playing off that historically. Very interesting mm -hmm. concept. Now, back to the Attack on Titan uh, note. So, Funimation licensed the live action Attack on Titan films for the entire Western Hemisphere. Wow. North America, Central America, South America. That's impressive. And they will hold the world premiere at the Los Angeles Egyptian Theater on July 14th, where the film's director and the actors who played Aaron and Misaka will also attend. That's pretty big. Mm. Uh, the film will open in Japan on August 1st, so we're getting the films first. Wow. Yeah, Funimation has some pull. That is impressive. Amazing. Uh, the director has stated the film does tell its own story within the franchise's world, including new characters and new enemies. So if you've seen the anime or read the manga, this is still a new story. Popular children's anime series, uh, Yokai Watch, oh, yes. is coming to Disney XD. Cool. Uh, they've already licensed 26 episodes of the show that started airing in 2014 in Japan. In the series, a boy named Keita, did I say it? Uh, Keita. Keita uh, provides a spirit. Uh, free Keita frees a spirit from imprisonment. Mm. The spirit gives Keita a watch that lets him see the many spirits who interfere with and cause trouble for people without them knowing it. Yokai Watch. Hmm. Keita then works to resolve all these problems. Mm -hmm. The closest we have for a premiere date on Disney is this year. <laughs> meanwhile, in Hawaii, Tourism Authority premiered... Meanwhile, sorry, the Hawaii Tourism Authority premiered a new Yokai Watch 
anime short. Hmm. Uh, that's right. The short film is a collaboration in which the characters of Yoka Watch, Kai Watch, uh, describe the main characters, uh, the main attractions of Hawaii's four main islands, hmm. Kauai, Oahu, Maui, and the Big Island of Hawaii itself. Cool. Uh, the short even includes new Hawaiian yokai. Hmm. Uh, the film is part of a push by the Hawaiian Tourism Authority to attract more Japanese tourists. Cool, interesting. Um, kind of weird thinking of a, of a Hawaiian tourism push that's pushed that's aimed at Japanese people. Not yeah. Americans. Usually, it's uh, uh, anime has sort of a bent towards uh, come see this in Japan, right? Rather than yeah. uh, Go to the <laughs> Hawaiian Japan Islands. Is very close to Hawaii, and guess where they all came from. Wow. Um, <laughs> so the popular light novel series, The Familiar of Zero, aka Zero no Tsukaima, which had several anime series and so forth, will continue after the passing of its author, Noboru Yamaguchi, two years ago. Now, before you are too concerned about that, understand that Yamaguchi dictated the remainder of the story while he was sick mm. and gave it to his editors, and kind of wow. trusted them with that. Yamaguchi's family has also said that they're okay with the series being completed, and the publishers have since continued to receive requests from fans to finish the series. So everyone involved kind of wants this to go on. No use net on no uh, no news yet on who will do the writing, but apparently we will get more familiar of zero. The Japan Animator Expo, mm -hmm. animator. <laughs> the Japan Animator Expo, a series of short films made by various uh, anime staff, will be getting a limited theatrical release in Japan. Cool. Beginning July 25th, all 12 episodes of the first season will be shown in 10 theaters in Japan, plus three episodes from the upcoming third season. Three new episodes will be Hammerhead, Kante Hitman 1989, hmm. and Boo Boo and Boo Boo Lina. Sounds cute. Yeah. The third season will start this July, and as usual, we will release. Uh, we will release. <laughs> as usual, we'll release a new short film every Friday. Cool. The project is overseen by Evangelion director Hideke. 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 <laughs> Hideaki. Hideaki Ano. Ah, I was. <laughs> Hideaki Ano. Yep. Uh, although he hasn't directed any of the shorts yet. Okay. So. Um, we know Japan Animator Expo very well because we've done a bit of, of uh, fan dub work yes. with that. It's a lot of fun. Um, Still waiting to hear back from them. Yeah, exactly. We'll, we'll find <laughs> out. So moving on to the um, upcoming, uh, conventions. upcoming conventions. So this weekend is one of the big ones, Anime Expo. That's that's in Los Angeles yes. Convention Center. Mm -hmm. That is one of the big ones. It sure is. They're expecting how many people? Up to a hundred thousand this year. Hundred thousand. That's a city. Some cities aren't that big. <laughs> I mean, fully populated cities. <laughs> well, it's been going for let's see, twenty-two years now. So it's had some time to build up attendance. Uh, guests include, I mean, there are a huge number of Chris Ayers, Danny Chu from Japan, Sandy Fox, Kyle Hebert, um, Daisuke Ishwatari, who's a producer and composer. Um, Is that? Kiss yes, the band kiss the is going to be, be there. there. Wow. <laughs> Endorsing anime. I'm, I'm sure. Uh, Shami Kabuki Lay. makeup. No. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <I'm> sure. <laughs> Maybe. Um, Toshio Maeda will be there, the manga artist. Uh, Chris Sabat, voice actor. Sean Schemmel, Stephanie Shea, Christina V, Lyle Wilkerson. Just tons and tons and tons of people. The other nice thing about Anime Expo is by being so close to Japan, you often get some announcements and some things that, that we don't get. So uh, keep your eye out. Stay tuned. Exactly. Do people still tune? <laughs> <laughs> Anime Midwest, July mm. 3rd through 5th, is at the Hyatt Regency O'Hare, Rosemont, Illinois. Okay. Since 2011, mm -hmm. they've been putting this on, and they expect an attendance of 10,000 people, which is, which is a good amount. Yeah. Uh, guests include uh, Curtis Arnott, Ar uh, Greg Ayers, mm -hmm. uh, Chris Kaysen, uh Amber Lee Connors, mm -hmm. uh, Nicole Boyer, Emily DeJesus, uh, Robert to Jesus. Are they related? I think so. <laughs> Caitlin French, uh, mm. Steve Horton, Chuck Hoover, Blake Shepard, Spike Spencer, Billy West, and many others. Mm. Check it out. Yep, yeah, they just uh, they keep on going. If you're in uh, jolly old England mm -hmm. uh, uh, this weekend, check out the London Anime and Gaming Con. It's been going since 2009. It'll be at the London Metropolitan University Rocket Complex. A rocket Complex? That sounds pretty cool. Team Rocket! Wait, in no. London. <laughs> <laughs> going up again! <laughs> in London, guests include Anemia, the cosplayer, and Mike Pollock, the voice actor. 
San Diego Comic-Con. Yeah. Coming July 9th through 12th, 2015 at the San Diego Convention Center. Imagine San that. Diego, California. <laughs> They've been going on since 1995. Wow. That's, 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 that's a long way. Yeah. yeah, pretty good. And, of course, they're going to have everyone there at the San Diego Comic-Con. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yeah. Cool. And well, Kickstarters. Kickstarters. Here's the news on Kickstarters. Well, let's see. Would you like to visit Japan? Are you intimidated by the idea of figuring out just where to go in Tokyo so you'll see the most awesome otaku sites? I am. I am. <laughs> the Essential Otaku Guide to Tokyo will mm. be a digital guidebook for otaku sites in Japan. Cool. Unfortunately, the Kickstarter is a little vague on what exactly the form it is that it will take. Mm. A website, a Kindle ebook. Mm. But we do know they're starting with a digital version so they can update it rapidly as stores move and new locations uh, and details change. Gotcha. They only need $4,000. Cool. And they've raised just over 1000 and with 22 days left to go. So there's a good chance this will make it. Right. And the people behind it, Ed Hoff, uh, Kikyo, Kyoko, Kyoko, Kato, and uh, Adrian Le Lozano. Lozano, I Lozano. Think. Uh, They've uh, uh, decades of combined experience in Tokyo. Nice. So that sounds like it should be a really exciting thing and a very yeah. helpful uh, tool for touring. Yeah, there, there's lots of information about Japan and Tokyo, but not so much about how to get to those specific otaku sites in Japan. So that's pretty cool. Uh, my Otaku Brain Trust anime convention Kickstarter is still not going so well. It's at 310 of the 5,300 needed to fund this uh, intellectually focused anime convention in Virginia for February of next year. The idea is the panel only convention, and we'll be uh, recording it and uh, uh, putting it out there. 15 days to go, though, so anything can happen. Uh, check it out, Otaku Brain Trust. How do I find that again? Uh, Otaku Brain Trust on Kickstarter.com. So just. Go to Kickstarter yep. and type in Otaku Brain Trust. Exactly. And, and, it'll, and it'll pop right up. Excellent. Uh, remember, Kickstarter, uh, let's see, that, that Kickstarter by uh, Fred Funel, uh, the, uh, Fu, 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 Fred Funel, mm -hmm. uh, the Australian guy from Melbourne, mm. uh, who has never watched anime. Oh, yeah, that one. Yeah. 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 yeah he, he wants to raise $78 <laughs> US to buy energy drinks, you'll right. need to watch 10 anime series nonstop over 48 hours. Wow. Continuous. Mm. Uh, unfortunately, uh, 12 days to go. He hasn't, nobody's got, nobody's got a penny. I want to see this guy. I do too. Watch, binge watch <laughs> anime, having never watched <laughs> anime. Uh, it, I, I understand that uh, we could make recommendations if we pledged money to him and oh, yeah. tell him what to watch. Mm -hmm. Imagine someone completely virgin to anime, <laughs> getting recommendations, and they have to watch it for, oh, that, that that would be great. And, of course, you can kind of troll them by saying, okay, Naruto, One Piece, Dragon Ball Z, <laughs> three. <laughs> no, we wouldn't do that. Oh, shoot, he could he could spend the 48 hours just watching uh, Naruto <laughs> exactly. and not get through. Not, yeah, not, yeah. <laughs> that's not even a quarter of it. Gosh. Uh, the Kickstarter for Asterion, the French-Japanese co-production of its 13-episode kind of interactive anime series. Interactive. So uh, throughout the episode, you'll get the sort of choices you can make that will change the story. Uh, unfortunately, it's not going too well. They've only raised $18,000 out of the $151,000 they need by the end of July. Yeah, that's coming up soon. It's coming up fairly soon. But who, um, who's involved on that? They've got Studio Ghibli alumni working on that. Whoa. Uh, several other distinguished anime staff including uh, Hiroshi Shimitsu, who worked on Michiko and Hachin, Andy Lupin the Third, Fujiko Mine series. Uh, Those are some big names working on Very this. big names, and uh, if you head over and look for Asterion, that's A-S-T-E-R-I-O-N, on Kickstarter, they have a beautiful trailer up there with animation that's just knocked my stocks off. Um, so it looks good. It's just it's, it's a it's a pretty high goal. That sounds that sounds like an interesting uh, concept for for media. Yeah. To be able to choose how things go uh, as you're watching. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Very interactive. Yeah, I'd be curious to see how they actually do that. What the um, you know, form of it takes. I don't know. We'll see. Moving on to the anime releases of the past week. Um, let's see here. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Aniplex. Aniplex. What are they doing? Aniplex of America has come out with a number of different uh, mm -hmm. things here. Uh, they have Sword Art Online 2, Volume 1, Phantom Bullet, Part 1 DVD, <laughs> yeah. 
which is episodes one through seven. It's part one, section one, subsection, <laughs> paragraph three, <laughs> article two, uh, decimal point eight. <laughs> uh, so episodes one through seven. Okay. Uh, and uh, that's on DVD for uh, mm-hmm. forty nine. 98. Okay. Uh, Sword Art Online 2 Volume 1, Phantom Bullet Part 1 is also available on Blu-ray mm. for $79.98. Okay. Uh, and that's the same episodes 1 through 7. Mm-hmm. Um, and Sword Art Online 2 Volume 1, Phantom Bullet Part 1, Blu-ray Limited Edition Ooh. version is also available. And that's a little bit pricier. Mm. It's at $114.98. Yeah. But if you dig Sword Art Online... Mm-hmm. You may enjoy that. And we should point out these are all MSRPs, so the retail price will be lower. Good. Yeah. Good. I like to save a few bucks. Exactly. Aniplex of America also has the Irregular at Magical High School, Volume 1, Enrollment Arc, mm. Episodes 1 through 7, Subtitle. Okay. At uh, $89.98. Fair enough. All right, moving on to Discotheque Media has released Cheese New Address Season 2. The complete collections, that's all 26 episode episodes of Cheese New Address at uh, $45 US. That is subtitled only. I didn't have Cheese Old Address. I know. Uh-huh. <laughs> NIS America uh, has released A Low in the Sea, Nagi Asu, a complete series, mm. premium edition, Blu ray, 26 episodes nice. for $179.99. Still? Yeah. Still. It's like seven bucks an episode, something yeah. like that. Uh, they, they've also, NIS America has also released My Little Monster Complete Series Premium Edition Blu-ray DVD Combo, 13 nice. episodes, uh, for $16.99, and that's uh, $69.99, sorry, <laughs> not $16.99. <laughs> sorry. Buy me eight copies. Uh, and that's a uh, subtitle. Okay, fair enough. What's Sentai Filmworks up to? Let's see here. Well, they've got Magical Warfare Complete Collection on DVD. That's 12 episodes for $59.98. Uh, about 60 bucks there. And then another 10 bucks or so, you can get uh, the Blu-ray collection of Magical Warfare, uh, again, complete collection, all 12 episodes. Uh, They've also released uh, Collection 3 of Space Brothers. Mm. And uh, that's uh, 12 episodes, uh, episodes 27 through 38 of that story. The DVD is $49.98, excuse me, and the Blu-ray is $59.98. So uh, um, fairly inexpensive there, all things considered. Sunrise, Mm -hmm. TRSI. Mm Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, turn, turn a Gundam. <laughs> turn, turn a Gundam. Turn a Gundam. Turn a Gundam. Which might be this, actually. <laughs> Whoa! Can you imagine, what do you know? We Whoa. actually have it. Part two, episodes the, this is 25 thing. through 50. You already have it. So this is Turn a Gundam. Released today. Released today in my... my in your uh, hot little hands. My hot little hands right here. <laughs> this is exactly what you'll get. If you order it and you see there, Laurent and uh, so, somebody else. Forty nine ninety nine. Exactly. Wow. With discs Ooh, check and everything. It out, check it out. It's all, it's all there. Nice. Absolutely. And it also includes <laughs> an ad for the first one. So Ooh. if you're interested in the, the uh, getting the first one, you get this nice little card st- uh, stock of, oh, uh, of oh, art. And what's on the other side? Uh, the, the other side is ad for Yakitate Japan. So that's kind of nice, but uh, cool. yeah, kind of themed uh, ad in there, which is which is rather nice. nice. So that's the news for the week. Thank you all for watching. All the news that you can use. Exactly.